Florida State at worst wants to take the 206 remaining off this clock. And on first down, here's how they'll start. And Jermaine Thomas says, how about I give you 11 yards? <laughs> and we are 114 and counting away from halftime. Into the flat on the far side. Heading back to midfield and off and running goes Burt Reed. Spinning! Still on his feet at the 10-yard line. Pass, particularly with Burt Reed, the ability to operate in traffic. Right there is a nice cut, and he runs right past two other people. You mentioned the little pirouette right there. I can pronounce it. I can't spell it. And Florida State. In Skinner has struggled, though, against Florida State's defense. He has hit only two of his last ten passes. Sets up the screen to Adams, who has to duck back inside, but he is surrounded by Seminoles. They've marked this ball outside the 30-yard line. And a handoff and the loss on first down, Brandon. Brandon Jenkins. Jenkins on the tackle there. He's seeing a lot more playing time. Number 49, the freshman out of Florida High in Tallahassee. That's Brandon Jenkins tackling Brandon Pendergrass. They're real high on both Jenkins and Toshman Stevens, a redshirt freshman at these defensive end positions. And as the season wears on, they're getting a little bit more and a little bit more playing time. You know, Florida State's number 49 now has seen the field in nine out of 10 games. They lost four the previous play, at least four now for Adams on second down, setting up third and close to 20. This is Marcus White with his first big snap of the afternoon. That's a favorable spot. That'll be third and 17 on well, this. Rakes heading in the wrong direction. Great penetration that time by White and company. Brad him up there as well. Very important for Florida State to answer. Well, Jermaine Thompson, Thomas rather, does just that. Out across midfield. Is that a good opening thrust? That'll do. <laughs> Out across the midfield to the Wake Forest 46-yard line. Dominique Majette, the linebacker, on the stop on a gain of 20. Just like Wake, nothing fancy, nothing fancy here. Little guard comes around, will run up the gut by Thomas. He should be nearing in on that century mark. Yeah, you sound like Christian Ponder now at 104. 104, the third straight week, uh, and more. Another first down. Now, if Wake is going to surrender yardage like this, the Deeks aren't going to be able to hang with Florida State. Uh, the offensive line of Datko, Hudson, McMahon over the football, Spurlock, and Sanders, Keith, is rock solid. Uh, if, if you were in a brawl, I know what five guys are going to still be standing at the end of the day. Well, if I've got those five with them, I might be starting the fight. <laughs> he picked up 13, a, a buck 17 now for the tailback in Thomas. They give it to him again. He's able to find the edge, and then he goes down. Last week, Force converts. Chris has his second grab, this of 26. Skinner with the flag in behind him will suffer his first takedown of the day. He club Virginia Tech's 20 and Clemson at number 24. Everybody trying to get to Tampa. We're getting to put EJ Manuel did not complete a pass in the third quarter. He goes to work in the fourth and has one. And this is to Burt Reed. And it may be for a first down. He went the entire third without putting the ball in the air. Didn't attempt to pass. Majet, the middle linebacker, is over there on the tackle. And the way they're spotting it, they're going to move the sticks. And some of that had to do, in Florida State's case, with where the ball was. Remember, Wake downed one punt down around the three or the four-yard mm -hmm. line. And with a first-time starter, inexperienced quarterback, Jimbo Fisher electing, and I would concur, electing to just not put this young man in a situation to make a mistake that really hurts the team. A dozen completions today for 188 yards. And he'll call his own number. And the pitch, a late pitch. That was well done. To the short side of the field, and Jermaine Thomas's a triple-digit afternoon continues. And everybody always fusses. Why do you run the pitch? Why do you run the option to the short side? You don't have enough field to operate on. Well, the reason you do is you got one less, generally speaking, one less defender over there. Offensive lineman. 
That is a disturbing injury. On third down. Number three in the pocket. Throws for a first down. Inside the 40. First down Seminoles on the grab by Rod Owens. Does he just make it look too easy? He just glides when he runs. That's his first catch of the second half, third of the day. Emmanuel almost stares him down, but Rod does a good job of finding an open area. Coming right at you. EJ has been very accurate. Almost without exception today. To start at the top. Strength of the formation of the side he's running and with that little deep move, the fake. There he goes Four six speed. Cut down at the nine yard line. And looks to be all right. That was a hold your breath moment. Florida State has run this option several times. Most of the time for little gain or the pitch. This time the defensive end, that's a late hit. Now wait a second. We had this discussion. On the road. Play action, backside pressure, the flip, the grab, touchdown, Fortson. Jermon Fortson is in on the first career touchdown pass thrown by E.J. Manuel. And he was bearing down on a gun. Look what's coming up from behind. And he got it away. And that's a nice touch. That's a youngster with a with a huge arm showing a little bit of deafness and a nice touch just to flip that ball out there. Hopkins out of Powell's hold. Didn't hit the post this time. Loaded up in the eye play action. Skinner rolling, looking to throw. Back of the end zone, and it's picked off by Ajuko Jenajay. Intercepted the second pick of Skinner today. Intended for the fullback, Renfret. Well, they had a lot of success getting the ball outside to Renfret and Bohannon, but that time, just a little too much air under the ball, a little too slow developing, and Jenajay was able to make up ground. And pick off his fourth of the year. That ball just hung and hung and hung. A Juco Jenajay who had a pair of picks against South Florida. One against NC State. And here on that floater key. Just too much air under the ball. And Chris with his family understandable. The pitch on the outside and uh, taken off as Thomas. Wake could not stop him this afternoon. Credit the offensive line, but Thomas has just been terrific. Much more balanced. Manuel. Oh, the big fella likes to run. Coach, congratulations on the win, the big storyline, a new quarterback breaking him in. Evaluate, uh, obviously, EJ led you to victory. What did you think of his performance? Well, we felt, I felt like he would do good. I, I just didn't know, you know, until the guy's gotten in there and played. In other words, he had done everything in practice that was, was proving okay. Now can he do it in the game? And I thought it was obvious on the first play that he was pretty poised. The defense the last two weeks has shown signs of life uh, a little bit more, better coverage out there. What did you think about the way they performed today? They definitely are doing better. They still got work to do, as you can tell. The game could have got away there at the end of the half. We picked up three 15-yard penalties, had a chance to go up 38-7. to seven. Instead, I think they scored and got momentum. They had momentum going into the third quarter. Bobby, you've got two games to go. You still need one win to get bowl eligible. How much of a point of motivation will that be this week for your team as you get set for Maryland? It's up to the kids. I mean, they'll, they'll know what you said. I mean, we all know it now. It'll be up to them. They all right. play. All right. Well, congratulations on this victory, Coach. Thank you, buddy. Let's bring in one of the heroes uh, today. E.J. Manuel is right over here as well. E.J., congratulations. Tell the truth now. Did you have butterflies this morning? Most definitely. When I woke up, uh, you know, I just said, first thing I did was pray, man, just to relax. And uh, just continue to, to do what we've been doing as an offense. And you know, I, I feel like it was a team effort. It's not about me. It's all about the team. I mean, we put this win up today. When did you settle down? After the first play? Did, was it kind of a deep breath and go from there? Yeah, I think I just settled down to warm ups, really, just to relax. I mean, this is what we do in practice. Our practices, I feel like, are harder than the game. You know, the coach put so much pressure on us. So, you know, we just came out and had a good day and we got a W. 
What did Jimbo and, and Christian Ponder, another mentor for you, stretch to you before the game and, and throughout the game? Just to relax and trust my instincts. You know, we, we all know the plays as quarterbacks. We, we rep things so many times and we watch so much, so much film that we know what to do. Just go out there and relax and do it. You're from Virginia. Do you have a few family members here today? How many? My family's probably somewhere over there. Probably some, I got about 15 people from Virginia Beach, my dad and my mom and a couple other people. So go, go over there and see how, say hi to them a little bit. Tell me about that, your first touchdown pass, was, which uh, went to Fortune. Describe that play. Uh, just a, you know, a little fake, naked, just booted on around. I saw nobody on him. Uh, we had a, a comeback on the outside, too. So I just you know, put it up for him. He kind of made a great catch and, and scored a touchdown. And finally, you know, with the victory, FSU still has a chance to become bowl eligible. How much of a point emphasis is that among you and the other players? Right, that's the main thing we're thinking about right now. We're not worried about me getting my first start, getting my first win, nothing, nothing like that. We're, we're going to move on and, and play Maryland and try to beat them, too. All right, well, best of luck. Congratulations on the win. Yes, sir. Let's get back to that grin from ear to ear that you've got going there. <laughs> Thank you.